It's time for another Sunday shout out mail call with 15 packages today. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure. And as you know, on Sundays, normally we do a mail call and Sunday shout out video. I've got 15 packages, eight envelopes, seven of the package slash boxes. So we're gonna get right into it. As you know, anyone who sends a package, I'll have the link to their channel information down below. Be sure to check out their channel, give them a subscribe if you can, and watch one of their videos and let them know Rob sent you. That being said, let's get right into it. First one is from Bella's Coin Hunt. What could it be? So Bella writes, Robert, thank you for getting me into coins so much. You are a great role model. Well, that's sweet of you, Bella. I love how you support my channel. Here's a sticker for your collection, a few for giveaways, and two for you to wear on your head for a live stream. <laughs> Shalani is so pretty. Yes, she is. You're awesome, Bella. Well, really cool, Bella. I love these Bella Coin Hunt stickers. Got the Bella profile on the back of the uh, Franklin half dollar, and uh, love it. With Bella, we hunt. Love, love, love the concept. Not sure I'll wear them on my head during the live stream, but I'll definitely use some for giveaways, and I appreciate the package. And I'm happy to support, and thank you for your support as well. Next up, we have a package from Stephen Slaughter. So Stephen, or Stefan, I, I don't know if I have the name right, pretty much wrote me a letter saying that he's been watching me for about a couple months now, and he wanted to give me some coins from the Philippines. We've got a 1964 25 centavos from the Bank of the Philippines. Pretty cool. And then the second one is a 10 centimos, pretty much the dime of the Philippines from 1972. Both are copper nickel, really cool coins. He asked for some stuff in trade. Remember, Stefan or Steven, I only do trades via email. But since you are definitely a younger viewer, I wanted to at least show your package and your coins on channel. And I appreciate the package that you sent. Next up is a package from Shane Burton. So looks like Shane Burton is part of Uncle and Niece's Coin Roll Hunting. We've got like a stamp size sticker that's really cool, as well as the large size channel sticker. Uncle and Niece's Coin Roll Hunting. I'll have to check them out. Hopefully you guys will do the same. The information will be down below. Thank you guys very much. Next up is a package from Game Boy United. So Game Boy United writes, Dear Rob Finds Treasure, I wanted to give you these nickels. One Lewis and Clark and one Louisiana Purchase. I hope you like them. And do you have a lot of these? Because I have a ton. Keep up those great videos and have a great day. Sincerely, Game Boy United. And yes, Game Boy United, I have a ton of these. But I'll tell you, most of mine are Denver Mint. I don't get a lot of 2004 P Philadelphia Minted. The Peace Metal ones right here. And there is a very, very collectible double die a verse on this 2004p piece metal nickel and really i've already checked this one but you're looking for doubling on the word trust and on 2004 you're definitely checking those two areas the most you'll see pretty good doubling on the letters and on the numbers this one doesn't have it at all but if you've got a ton of these ones with the philadelphia mint and the piece metal from 04 Definitely check out the word trust and 2004 under a loop or a microscope and see if you have it. I have not, I have yet to find one. And in a box of nickels, I only get to check about five or six of these from Philadelphia as I get about 30 from Denver. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks for the two nickels. Thanks for watching my videos. And thanks for the package, Game Boy United. Next up is a package from the Elgin Coin Club. What do we have this time? So Jim Davis from the Elgin Coin Club writes, Dear Rob, thank you for the kind words about the Elgin Coin Club on the mail call number 34. I also enjoyed your video on the great silver fine on February 20th. It reminded me of my best silver fine last year when I was able to obtain 21 assorted silver proof quarters. Wow. And two proof silver dimes for face value at work. You gotta love it. As a thank you for all the good you do for the coin collecting community, I'm sending you $3 bills. At first glance, and by the way, that's them right there. At first glance, they may seem ordinary, but each is interesting in its own way. 
One is serial number 20010904 or birthday note. And obviously that's this one. And you can read that as 2001, September 4th or April 9th, 2001. So really cool birthday note. A star note starting with three zeros. Love star notes with three zeros. Take a look at that. 000 33691. Beautiful note. And then lastly is an 88A web press note. Holy cow. Holy cow. Web press notes were a failed experiment of the BEP. You can either keep them or use them as a live stream giveaways. Happy hunting Jim Davis from the Elgin Coin Club. Jim, I don't want to be greedy, but I have been looking and praying for a web press note, either 88A, 93, or 95. This is an 88A. It's in pretty tough condition, but it is a web press note. And for those that have watched my currency searches, a web press note will have the printing plate number next to In God We Trust versus having it below the one right here below the E in one. So the difference between a web press note, it was an experiment They had rolls of paper and it was continuously fed as they, as they printed them versus having them be a sheet like you see nowadays and then cut. So really cool to get myself um, a web press note. This is my first one. So Jim, I'm going to be keeping that one for me for sure. I'll add it to my collection. If I get a different one for that I find on my own, maybe this bad boy will make it into uh, someone else's hands on a on a live stream. But for now, I need a home form because I don't have a web press note. As always, LJ Coin Club, Jim Davis, thanks for the support. Thanks for the cool notes. And uh, happy hunting and awesome score on those silver proof quarters. Next up, we have a package from Robert Ohl. So Robert Ohl has requested a couple of trades. Him and I exchanged emails, so I'm okay with doing it. He's looking to get a star note for those Susan B. Anthony dollar coin, which I have no problem, and a 1918 penny for some 2009s that I have a ton of. He also lists some other pennies here that are pretty common, but he doesn't have them, and I don't think I, I mean, I don't keep common pennies, only Wheaties and earlier, but I'll take a look, see if I got any of those for you at first glance in my discard bin. If I do, Robert, I'll send it. The biggest thing he wanted me to do was to nickadate this Buffalo nickel. So let me go ahead and pull it out of here. We'll get it under the scope. We'll get some nickadate on it and I'll see if I can get a date on that and let you know what it is, Robert. So before I ever nickadate, I always double checked and I'll be looking under the scope and under my loop and my separate loop that has less magnification for a date and a mint mark. And I believe that there is definitely a mint mark on this one. Yep, Denver Mint. So we've got a Denver Mint. We know it's a type two because it has the flat round versus the raised mound. So we know it's at least 1914 Denver or higher. I don't see under my phone a date, but let's put it under the microscope to see if we see any detail where the date would be. I don't see anything. So we know it's a Denver Mint. We know it's at least 1914. There is some raised elements. So now I'm gonna use my two times and four times loops and magnifying glasses to see if I can extract a date off there before I even touch it with Nicodate. So unfortunately, I can't get a date off of it. The raised elements appear to be mostly some damage, some rub marks which are catching the lights. So you've asked me to Nicodate it. I'm gonna Nicodate it. Like at this angle right here, you almost think you could see a date, but I've checked, there's nothing there. So we've applied the Nicodate, and you can see it right there. It's a 1918. 1918 is also a good year to check for the 18 over 17 double die, but that's not going to be it because that eight is popping. So 1918 Denver Mint Buffalo Nickel. Well, there you go, brother. 1918 Denver Nickadated Buffalo Nickel. I've got a couple of 09 
Penny's here for you from this professional life. D and P, I didn't know which one you needed for sure. And I'll get a star note added to your package. So thank you very much once again. I appreciate it. Next up is a package from Hunter H or Beowulf Thorson. It was a request to read this off camera, which I've done. So uh, I wanted to thank you for your awesome, awesome letter, Beowulf Thorson, Hunter H. Inspiring, and thank you, and I respect your wishes. Next up is a package from Zachariah Morris. So Zachariah writes, hey Rob, this is the second time writing you. You make me want to go to banks and check coin stars every time I go to Country Mart. I'm just now getting my first silver. Congrats, buddy. It got to the point where my dog, Blue, naps on my lap to watch me hunt. My sister won a nickel mat from your stream and didn't tell me. I use it every day. My collection is growing by the week. I thought if it isn't too much trouble, if you could send a war nickel. It doesn't matter the year. I need every year, but it'll mean a lot if it came from a legend. <laughs> you can't beat the story behind the coin. I sent you a 10-1 and a special coin. My dad is a tank mechanic. Ooh, that's cool. A quarter in a tank from Iraq. Wow. So your dad is a tank mechanic and was working on a tank in Iraq and found this one. You're right, Zachariah. You can't beat the story behind the coin. This one's very special to me. Thank you very much. That is a really cool story. No, this was in a tank from Iraq. Please tell your dad thank you for his service and to the servicemen that he services by making sure the tanks run right. Because he had a tour in Iraq, Africa, and Afghanistan. Holy cow, That's he's done some traveling. Again, please tell your dad thank you for his service. P.S. My dad is happy you got me started in coins, so I focus less on games. Well, that's always a good thing. Coins is better than games, although games have their place. But awesome. All right, buddy. You want a war nickel? We'll throw you a war nickel. Looks like you got me a 10-1 from 2000. Love it. South Korea. And the tank quarter. Man, I, this is just really cool. Happy your sister won the mat. Happy she's letting you use it. Sharing is caring. And you shared some good stuff with me. So I'll send the war nickel to you, brother. And again... Thank your dad for what he does for the country, and thank you for supporting my channel. Next up is a package from King's Coins. It's a little beefy. King's Coins writes, Rob, thanks for doing the trade with me. I got the coins, brother. I'll be sending out your package tomorrow. Also, thanks for your support from the very start of my channel. Your encouragement and guidance has helped me tremendously. This coin community is outstanding. Great channels and people, and I agreed for sure. Keep up the good work. Take care. God bless. And remember, it's always good to be the king. King's Coins. And he even sent me the King's Coins channel sticker. Very cool. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Awesome design. You bet, brother. We'll trade anytime. Keep an eye out for my package. All right. Now we'll open a package from Bradley Cox. So Bradley sent me a trade request, so, and he wrote, do not open on camera, so I will respect your wishes as well, Bradley. I will go ahead and read the note. I think I saw four or five wheat pennies that you need for your album. I'll see if I got those, and uh, I'll shoot them over to you. Now let's move on to a package from Billy Luft. So Billy Luft writes, Dear RFT, I really enjoy your channel. I've been watching for a couple of weeks now and watch all the time. I'm very busy, so I can't hunt all the time. So I enjoy watching you get great finds. I started coin roll hunting in the summer of 2018 and was able to fill out almost every coin in my Penny and Jefferson nickel books. Wow, that's pretty quick if you did that. Do you have the older Wheaties as well? I also was able to find around 10 silver halves. My mom then gave me her collection of silver halves and silver quarters from when she was a kid. Unfortunately, long story short, we believe that my collection was taken by someone when we were held a gathering at our house. Oh, that's a bummer, brother. So I'm just starting back up and was able to fill out almost all of my new Penny and Jefferson books. I wanted to send you some coins because I appreciate all you do for the community and get joy from watching your videos. Thank you, Billy. I, I am ecstatic that uh, you're able to get back into coins. That's a bummer you lost some part of your collection. Hopefully, your mom wasn't too bummed that she lost some of the things when she was a kid for sure. 
There are some foreigns and some U.S. coins. It's not much, but enjoy. You know I will. I can't wait to take a look at what we got here. Also, I do not need a shout out for I don't have a channel. So if you could just put the link to GoFundMe in your video, maybe some people will feel the urge to donate to someone in need. God bless. Oh, you mean just put a link to just the GoFundMe pages out there and if someone wants to donate, you can do that. I'll see about doing that. I, I don't, I've never done that before, but I'll give it a shot for sure. Fellow numismatist, Billy Luft. Let's take a look at what we got in here, guys. And uh, I'll bring them out. So Billy sent some cool foreigns. We got a banknote from Mexico, 20 pesos. Got a beautiful 1971 five francs. I've got another East Caribbean States, 89, $1. Got a Deutschmark. Got a 94 two pence. Five shilling, a one shilling. And then we've got a 1980 25 cent from the Netherlands. Sesca Republica, 1993. Got the Czech Republic, I guess. And then a couple of currencies. Some Lyre or Lear, I guess. I'm not familiar with the exact pronunciation. I believe it's Lyre. We got 20 and 50 Lyre here. So that's really cool. Wow. So, Billy, appreciate it very much. I'll check on that GoFundMe thing. I'm not quite sure if you could do it without an actual link to someone's GoFundMe page, but I'll give it a shot. Let's do S Free 1979. Then we'll do Brian Weigand. So check out what S Free 1979 sent me. He sent me a couple of challenge coins from the US Navy. Unbelievable. Things heavy, it's beautiful. Honor, courage, and commitment. So great. United States Navy, I will bear true faith and allegiance. I will obey the orders. I will support and defend. Unbelievable. U.S. Navy, honor, courage, and commitment. On top of that, take a look at this. 22 karat gold edition, $2 banknote. Certificate of authenticity. We've got a 22 karat gold edition, U.S. $2 bill. Let me carefully pull it out of this container. It does have a bill protector over it. Let me get it out of here and show you guys this. Look at this stunner. Holy cow. Beautiful. And I love that the certificate of authenticity says, this guarantees that your collection contains genuine legal tender currency struck by the United States Mint. It has been enhanced by a patented technology. First commemorative mint. Wow. The note's pretty simple. Hi, Rob. The coins are for you, but the bill can be used for a giveaway if you want, or you can keep it. You're doing this to me again. I gave away gold last live stream, a gold a tender. I don't have one of these. Let me think about this, Scott. This is a tough one. I do think it's awesome to give away, but it's also awesome to keep. Holy cow. That is a beauty. All right. I got to think about that. Thanks for the Navy Challenge Coins. Thank you for the beautiful gold-plated $2 bill. Thanks for the simple note, brother. I'll have to really think about what I want to do with this. But in the meantime, love the Challenge Coins. Beautiful gold-plated $2 bill. And thank you for supporting my channel and my streams. Last package is from another supporter of the channel and the streams. Brian Weigand. I lied. Two more packages after Brian. Now let's open it. Brian, I almost forgot. You sent me some foreigns and some US half dollars for some ones you needed for your collection, brother. So don't really think you want me to cover this online um, out loud since this was just a trade we discussed. I'll peruse through the foreigns and the currency that you sent me. I appreciate it very much. I wanna let you know I got the package. I'll put together your package and send it out to you, brother. Now let's move on to a box. 
from Sam Seeley. So Sam's father writes, <clears throat> Hello, Rob. My son is a big fan and beginner collector. His name is Sam and he's seven. He's a big fan of yours and wanted to share with you some of his collection. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for the show, Rob, from Sam and his dad. Really cool. Take a look at what they sent. A 1916 Buffalo nickel. Believe it's been treated or nickedated. Either way, it's a 1916 Denver. So that's cool. Wow. It's an oldie. Take a look at that one. A 1947 Jefferson nickel. Always love my uh, Jefferson nickels. This one's out of San Francisco. A 51 D wheat penny. A 1938 wheat penny, Philadelphia. And a 1936 S. Wow, beautiful. That's a really nice looking one right there for sure. So some beautiful pennies and nickels. And then looks like we got another little goodie bag with a wheat penny from 1939 San Francisco. The dime is... 1967, and the other nickel is a 1964 plus a 2006 bill. Sweet, and nothing really fancy about this one. It does have three eights, but still a cool bill. Looks like Sam also wrote a note. Hey Rob, I watch your channel daily. I really like your videos. I am a seven year old. I just wanted to say if you can send me a mercury dime, I understand if you can't. I'll see what I can do, Sam. If you want to mark it down, I got tons of them, so I'm sure I can send you guys some. Sam and his dad, thanks for the cool package. I appreciate it very much, and I'll see if I can send Sam a Merc dime. Last package for reals this time is my friend up in Canada, Mark Smith. You guys are going to enjoy Mark's package as well. Let me go ahead and read it first. Hi, Rob. Thought I'd send you a package of something for you and one for the end of stream giveaways on a Friday. The channel is great, informative, and entertaining. The star notice for your collection. Boom. 1995 star note, baby. We'll go into that in a second. The PCGS graded American Silver Eagle is for the giveaway as I recently upgraded mine. So I thought somebody would be more than happy to have it in their collection. Honestly, I think PCGS were extremely punishing with this grade for the bit of milk spots that are on it. Other than that, the coin is flawless, I think, and perhaps you could attest to that by looking at it. Any hairlines are on this lab. Either way, it is a rare coin with the second lowest mintage for ASE proofs. Only 125,000 of these exist. I'll give you guys a quick peek at this. 2017 PCGS graded PR67D Camp Silver Eagle out of San Francisco. Unbelievable. The maximum product limit for the... Con Congratulations set was 75000 which this one is from, although I sent it too late for the designation. The other 50 k were available in the 2017 San Francisco Silver Proof sets. This means that the 2017 S Proof Silver Eagle has a mintage of no more than 125 k if all sets are sold and not returned. That would make it a key coin in the Proof Silver Eagle series. The only other coin with a lower mintage is the 95W Proof Silver Eagle. Holy cow. So this will be an epic end of stream giveaway. Compliments of Mark Smith. Mark. Man, you guys are making me hold some beautiful things today for the stream giveaways, which I don't mind doing. But wow. What a beauty. What a beauty. And I do think I see... The milk spots right above in God and around we trust. And that's probably why it received a little bit lower designation than it deserved. Either way, beautiful coin. The bill is F1921C. 1995 Philly. Run size 640K. Nice. Out of 7 million printed. Probably a PPQ 67, 68 in his opinion. Printed on sheet fed press. Yep, definitely love it. Definitely sheet print, uh, fed press. You can tell it's not a web press because of the printing plate down at the bottom. And 
Run number three, printed in 98. You got to like it, man. This is a beautiful bill. You're right. That's in really cherry condition considering it's a 95 star note. And 640. Okay, so just starting to get into the rare area, like you said here as well. Hope you enjoy it. Keep up the great shows as always, brother, and say hello to Shalani for me as well. I will do it, Mark. Thank you very much for this awesome, awesome, awesome giveaway and paper bill for my collection. P.S. If you need a current 019 Canadian coin book, let me know and I'll look after it for you. You know, I don't need one yet. I might need one, Sue, brother, but I appreciate the offer. And again, holy cow. Unbelievable. Beefy, too. Well, once again, everyone, we had a nice Sunday shout-out and mail call episode. 15 packages. Stuff for me. Stuff for giveaways. And uh, beautiful bills along with awesome coins and some foreigns. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Sunday shout-out mail call. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.